Mine boss Parker Schnabel may have bitten off more than he can chew. So these problems stem from buying Dominion or kind of strapped for cash. I don't like that too much. Um, we're obviously in a bunch now. Like we needed a year's worth of ground and we bought 10. And it just leaves us really spread out. I don't really know what the solution is. To pay for his Dominion Creek claim and bank as much gold as possible, Parker's overcommitted his crew across three locations. In the money pit, he's joined the crew prepping the site to run pay dirt in a week. We just definitely need a lot more money coming in, so it'd be nice to get sluicing at Dominion. Chief mechanic Jordan Sands now faces a daunting task, resurrect a dead D-11 dozer. This machine was bought by the owner of Dominion Gold weeks before the sale went through. So it was hauled in and put on stands because it's in very, very poor shape. Only the core of the Dominion dozer remains intact. Everything else needs to be salvaged from other junkyard D11s. So basically in the state this thing was in, things that were supposed to be full of oil were full of mud. Last I checked, that's a very poor lubricant. And this thing has been through a lot. To bring the 115-ton monster back to life, Jordan must take the body of one D11 and fit it to the 15-foot track frames of another dozer. Wrap the tracks and finally walk it onto the 20-ton blade of a third to create one giant Frankendozer. So here we go, setting on the track frame. I just follow Bill's direction, and if all goes well, they just slip right on. There we go. We're going to uh, wrap these tracks, see if we can get this thing on his feet. As you can see, these are used rails going back on it for our Frankenstein assembly here. We're going to pull them up, put the cat in reverse, suck the tracks over the back, tighten the track. It'll be good. Oh, good. This blade is the last piece of the puzzle here. Not bad, it won't be moved. Goodness gracious. Come on, come on, come on, you Yeah. We never thought we'd see it together in as good a shape as it is. A brand new one is two million, so we saved a lot of money by this one here for sure. We've got to do what we can here, get this ground stripped. Up here at Australia Creek, Parker's got some bills that uh, going to need to get paid. To get two acres down to pay by the end of the week, Parker has sent two dozers to Australia Creek. Mitch leads the charge with backup from Damian Brown in the newly assembled 110-ton Franken-dozer. This is my first day down here in Australia Creek. I've been sent down to help Mitch out. Obviously, strip off all of this mud. There's no way an L1 cat would keep up with this. I knew it was going to be a task, but man, is it ever messy around here. Jordan and Bill did such an awesome job uh, getting that old 11 back together. It's helping us huge. Pretty cool to see something like that out here, wailing dirt. Mitch 
Mitch, have you got a copy, Mitch? Yeah, what's going on, man? This cat is coming up with a clog filter warning light. Ah, uh, that's not good. It shouldn't be doing that. No, I really don't want to run it with a filter blocked warning. No. All right, why don't you jump in this cat? I'm running. I'll switch you. I'll take that thing back over to the uh, pickup there, and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on. OK, perfect. After a three-hour delay, the Frankendozer returns to the cut. And with two dozers working round the clock, they're back in the race to get two acres down to pay by the end of the week. Oh, it's a great feeling to finally get back out here and move some dirt. We've got Slucifer running down at Ken's ground. And then before too long, hopefully we've got a plant running here at Australia Creek. What's going on, man? The mechanics resurrected a dozer for you. Yeah, they did. When everything is being used and you have some old, you know, spares laying around, well, they're not spares any longer. Couldn't have opened up as much ground as fast as we did without it. We ended up getting two 11s up there, the one they resurrected, and uh, those things moved dirt. They're crazy. Yeah. And you had a good week, Tyson. You tell me, did we have a good week? Why I know, I know the it? plant ran, but... Yeah. Did we catch any gold, Dumit? Oh, well, we got some. Parker's banked just over a 1,000 of his 5,000 ounce gold. And with Dominion Creek gold still a week away, he needs Ken and Stewart's El Dorado cut to deliver to stay afloat. So far, it's averaging 200 ounces a week. Who wants the honors here? Well, I think Tyson should do that one. It's, it's loose. It's your machine. Well, let's do it. Is it pretty heavy, Dumit? They all get heavy nowadays. Here we go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 140, 170, 200, yeah. 220, 230, 240.6. Worth over $480,000. Very nice. There you go. Not bad. With the 240.6, our season total is 1,274.55. Not bad for one plant and starting as late as we did, right? Yeah, for sure. It's been and it's the only well plant we there. got running, so keep it going, <laughs> right? <laughs>